I love watching room tours, desk setups, office workspaces, battle stations, whatever. I will try to keep the boring bits short and sweet, but if you like the kind of stuff I do, I'm about to show you where I do it. So this is where I do most of my business. My setup sits atop the autonomous motorized standing desk, measuring in at 70 inches long and 30 inches deep. On the desk itself, we have a thermos because staying hydrated is good for you. The Canon HFR50 camcorder I use for the face cam on my gameplay videos also sits here next to this copper-on motorcycle model my mother found for me at some event, in some building, at some place, at some time forever ago. Two of the lenses I use are the Canon 75-300mm f4-5.6 to zoom lens and the Nifty 50 that everyone loves so much, along with the Sigma 18-35mm f1.8 art lens. The camera I use right now is the Panasonic Lumix GH4, but I pair it with the Metabone Speed Booster, which also acts like a kind of adapter so these Canon mount lenses can be put to use, and not just sit around, collect dust, and take up space like little glass holes. Continuing on, you'll see a battery charging station for the camera, as well as a Dragon Ball, the Focusrite Scarlet Solo, and a derpy little giraffe sitting atop the DBX286S microphone preamp processor. The Shure SM7B is my go-to microphone for voiceovers and commentary, and that runs into the processor for some mild compression, gating, and gain boosting. Then that goes into the Scarlet Solo, which connects to my computer. The Dragon Ball is just cool, and it looks like it'd be a fun little object to use in some photography or b-roll. And the giraffe is this adorably imperfect clay model that looks doopy as hell, but its flaws are charming, so I keep it around. These are sandwiched by Logitech speakers that are far too old for me to recall any model names, but to give you a general idea, I had these since before high school, which was over a decade ago. Further along, we have the Artifex charging stand for my Asus ZenWatch 2, a wireless charging dock for my Samsung Galaxy Note 4, which has a modified back to support Qi charging, a Samsung Galaxy tablet that I use to connect to my camera via Wi-Fi for remote access, and my Nintendo DS, because you can never be too old for Pokemon. A little closer to me, we have the things I need to access frequently, like my wallet, this Gripmaster finger strengthening thing that I need for reasons, my Corsair K70 RGB rapid fire keyboard, the Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum mouse, and my Dell notebook. Literally a Dell notebook. I told my friend I got one from work and he's like, oh, what are the specs? So I told him it's small, about six inches by eight inches, the hinge opens over 180 degrees, etc. And then he asks, what's the processor? And I go, uh, paper? That story was, uh, it was a lot funnier in my head. And, and then I found $5. On the bottom of the desk on the left, you'll find the FIO E07K headphone amplifier that I connect to my DT770 Pro and Vmoda Crossfade LP headphones, both of which are held up by the Brainwave's truss headphone hanger. You'll also find a remote to control the LED strip behind the desk. I don't normally cycle colors often, so I just need to turn the thing on by blindly feeling for the button. My ex would know all about that. <laughs> on the right side of the desk, we have a USB hub, a memory card reader, and an additional headphone jack. That's right. Desk 1, iPhone 7, 0. Everything under the desk is fixed in with Velcro straps, so they are easily removable if I need to make some adjustments. Cable management is nothing to write home about, but it's something. And I can't normally see it, so it's good enough for me. Back on top of the desk, the monitors my eyeballs caress are the two 27-inch Acer panels comfortably hugging the 28-inch Asus PB287Q 4K monitor. On top of that, we have the Logitech C920 webcam. Behind that, we have a nest of cable management, if you want to call it that. I have two power strips that supply power to everything in the general vicinity fixed to the monitor mounts to help keep too many things from being on the underside of the desk. We've also got a couple of LED strips that shoot light into the wall and down onto the desk surface. And finally, we reach my main computer. Inside the Fantex Enthu Evolve ATX tempered glass chassis, we've got an i7-5820K processor clocked to 4.2GHz, cooled by Corsair's H110i GT all-in-one loop, a GTX 980 Ti Amp Extreme graphics card, the MSI X99A SLI Plus motherboard, 32GB of DDR4 ripjaw RAM, 11TB of hard drive storage, a little over 1.5TB of SSD storage, with the boot drive being Samsung's 950 Pro. Lastly, we have the NZXT Hue Plus for that extra tacky zazz, all of which are sucking on the teat of the Corsair AX760 power supply. Halloween update. Yes, you get an update on the room tour that this video is of about related to because it's taken me like two to three weeks to shoot this video and I'm too lazy to reshoot all of the footage. I have changed the LEDs to orange and purple to complement the Halloween spirit because Halloween is my favorite. I've added the 23 inch Samsung panel that was way over there, up there, because I need extra panels for reasons. 
And then I got this kick-ass lamp from Target because I was drunk and it was an impulse buy and it's got two magic light Bluetooth light bulbs and check this out. And lastly, I've added the Corsair MM800 Polaris mouse pad into the fray, not to be confused with AMD's Polaris or Logitech's Polaris or any other company's affiliation with the North Star because it's a good marketing word and it sounds cool, Polaris. Yeah, review on that coming soon. If you came here for the room tour, that's over. Feel free to close this video out, I bear you no grudge. The rest of this video is more or less a game plan on what I'm going to be doing with this channel. First and foremost, gameplay videos are done. They will be laid to rest. I'm noticing that most of the people that come to this channel are not looking for stuff like that. And I get it, it's cool, no big deal. If there is a demand for it, I will bring it back, maybe, in another channel, or maybe I'll just stick to streaming, I don't know yet, but for now, dead. Next thing, future reviews. If there's something you want to see me review, leave it in the comment section. If I can justify buying it for myself, I will buy it for myself and I will do a video on it. But if it's something like LG's ultra-wide curved monitors and you want me to compare like each and every model, like aside from being surrounded by ultra-wide panels, which sounds really freaking cool, I can't justify spending that much money. All this stuff comes out of pocket, I have a tiny channel. You know, all the stuff I do, I do for fun. And that's because I laugh at my own jokes. On the software side, if you want me to do a software tutorial on something, I can definitely try. Um, if I know the software, I will do it. If I do not know the software, then I will try to learn it, but if it's relevant to me, for example, I can't do 3D printing anything because I don't have a 3D printer, but if you want to do, see something on Q2, for example, I can do Q2, but the thing is it's in beta right now, so maybe when it's a little more refined, later, it's planned for later. Last thing, my channel name is or was, depending on whether or not I've changed it yet, Xylophones, and that's not, a name that reflects the type of content I want to bring. It's one of those names that you come up with when you're 12 years old or something and you go, oh, that sounds cool, I'm gonna use it forever. Except I thought of it when I was 22. <laughs> so Xylopones as a gaming channel, sure, maybe, I suppose, why not? But for a tech channel that doesn't really fit the bill, I guess, I'm not feeling it. So before I get too invested with the channel, I figured it'd be a good idea to change the name earlier rather than later. So I spent many, many moon cycles trying to figure out something I'd be okay with permanently, and I came up with a little dim. And the reason I like a little dim is because it's one big, terrible pun. Everything about it is bad. Firstly, dim is dual inline memory module, which is basically a stick of RAM, so that kind of fits the whole computer thing. You know, computers, check, done. Next, um, when you refer to somebody as being dim, or not bright, or dull, or slow, or dumb, you're basically saying they're like, you know, touched in the head. So. If you know me, I'm, I'm not the sharpest bulb in the crayon box, so to speak. And lastly, the little bit, I'm Asian, so I will leave it at that. So starting today, I will be using that handle for Twitter and Instagram and YouTube. I'm not too into the social media scene, but if you drop me a question, I will be sure to answer it as soon as I can. And that's the same deal with this video. If you have questions or comments or concerns or criticisms, tell me about the channel name. Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you think it's just as terribly constructed as I am? Let me know in the comment section below and you'll be sure to have my full and undivided attention for at the very least 15 seconds. And by now, I'm sure you know the video drill. We got all sorts of buttons down there and some of them are up there, I think, now. And then maybe there might be a few to the sides that you can go crazy on to either like or dislike or share or comment or subscribe or subscribe or something. Um, I will have everything linked in the video description below in my room if you want to check out pricing or maybe purchase one of these things for yourself. And that's all I have to say about that. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. I love watching room tours. Dex, de dex, dex, desk, desk, desk. If you see something that I think is the, the, if you see something, I don't need a circle of monitors. As cool as that would be. <laughs> but, you know, if it's something like um, Q2, which is not done yet, it's still in beta, but when it's, you know, finished or more refined, then I can do that later, down the line, eventually. Is this awkward here? I'm Asian, 
so I will leave it at that. Oh, my knee's cracked. 